गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू दिस वर्चुअल क्लास ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग आई विल टीच यू सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग फॉर फिफ्थ सेम आई टी स्टूडेंट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज वेन यू वॉन्ट टू एंटर इन एनी सॉफ्टवेयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू मस्ट नो द बेसिक टू डेवलप ए सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोडक्ट here i am not talking about the programming logic or coding but emphasizing on the way emphasizing on the process how you will make the product after completion of this subject software engineering you will able to know the basic criteria basic method to develop a good reliable and cost effective software so let's start software engineering the first chapter is introduction to software engineering in this session i will discuss introduction to software engineering program versus software product and emergence of software engineering what is software engineering software engineering consists of two words software and engineering as you know program is an executable code which serves some computational purpose means program what you have done in your lab like prime number factorial these are the program but software software is considered to be a collection of executable programming code with its associated library and documentation okay and when a software made for specific requirement is called software product means when software is made for a specific task for a library it is known as library management system that is known as software product engineering on the other hand is about developing the product using well defined scientific principle and method then the proper definition of software engineering is <coughs> it is an engineering branch associated with the development of software product using well defined scientific principle method and procedure the outcome of software engineering is an efficient and reliable software product actually software engineering focus on systematic scientific and well defined process to produce a good quality product i triple define software engineering as the application of systematic discipline quantifiable approach to the development operation and maintenance of software means software engineering is the method is the process uh, systematic planning to develop a good quality software product next come to the next section program versus software program means the program you have done in the lab uh, like prime number uh, reverse of a number factorial of a number they are usually small in size within 100 to 1000 the line of code but software product is large in size from 1000 to uh, lakh the line of code here in program the programmer is the user but in software product there are 
large number of user and in the program the single developer single program or more than one or two program uh, usually write a program but in software product there there was a team developer team who developed the software product in program uh, there is no proper interface and documentation is required but in software there it require a proper user interface and documentation and user manual also and in software it is a systematic development but in program that is ad hoc development as the user uh, required he or she write the program and in program there is uh, less functionality but in software product there is more functionality then come to the next point emergence of software engineering in this section we will discuss various innovation and technology that led to the emergence of software engineering disciplines means the development of software engineering in early computer programming in 1950 there is uh, the computer is very expensive and the programmer use assembly level language to develop the program program were limited to few hundreds lines of assembly code thus developing a program required more effort every programmer use his own style to develop the program then in early 60 high level languages are introduced like fortran algol and cobol this reduced software development effort greatly software development style was still exploratory typical program size were limited to few thousand lines of source code as the size and complexity of program increased further programmer found very difficult to write cost effective and correct program program written by other very difficult to understand and maintain to cope up with this problem experienced programmer advised to pay particular attention to the design of the program control structure so in late 60s control flow based design is introduced a program's control structure indicate the sequence in which the program um, program instruction are executed flow chart technique was developed a program having a messy flow chart representation difficult to understand and debug then it comes structure programming a program is called structure when it use only this following type of construct sequence selection and iteration sequence means to execute all the source code sequentially and selection means a part of a program is executed and iteration means a part of a program is executed repeatedly the unstructured control flows are avoided consist a neat set of module use single entry single exit program construct however violation to this feature it also permitted 
written data structure oriented design in early 70s soon it was discovered it is important to pay more attention to the design of data structure of a program than the design of its control structure means in this case in this this time programmer were emphasizing on the data structure data structure means the stack queue these are data structure technique which emphasizing designing the data structure derive program structure from it are called data structure oriented design technique then data flow oriented design data flow oriented design advocate the data item input to a system must first be identified processing required on the data item to produce the required output should be determined data flow technique identify different processing station means function in a system the item means data that flow between the functions next come object oriented design object oriented te- technique is an appealing design approach natural object such as employee payroll register student occurring in a problem are first identified relationship among the object such as composition reference and inheritance are determined each object essentially act as an data hiding entity means the data hiding concept comes in object oriented designing object oriented technique have in wide acceptance because of its simplicity reuse possibility lower development time and cost and easy to maintenance this is the evaluation design technique means first we have we have used ad hoc designing then control flow based then data structure based and data flow based lastly object oriented designing this is all about emergence of software engineering thank you